Okay, here's what we're gonna do. You said audio learner, and then you said, and who is music going? Well, like, it's both. All I'm trying to do is get at, you know, a way. Because when I tell you what I want you to do, I want you to try this. Because it's a different way to remember and get a sense of a poem. When we read the Redeemer, what I want the artists in the group to do is imagine how you might paint this or draw it as a collage. Looking at it, because what's going to happen is you're going to look at the major images, you're going to look at the major associations, the connotations, and you're going to create whatever comes into your head related to that. Okay? Those of you who are movement people, you can decide how you might do this, depict this, in a series either of a dance, or if you don't want to do a dance, you can do a tableau. Wait a minute, just go with me here, keep an open mind. A series of tableau movements, okay? Even if it's line by line, you're going to show the movement. You could do a pantomime. You could do any number of these things. Be creative, see what you could do. Then, those of you who are my musical ones, you can do a couple of things. You can choose to do this poem as your own song. Set it to some rap. You could rap this song. Okay, and I'm not talking about the whole thing. You could just do a stanza. Or you could go through and look at what sounds come out and see what you would do musically with those sounds that pop out in the poem. If they're onomatopoeia, for example. Okay? I want you to try this because what it is is a different way of getting to know <coughs> what's important in this poem instead of just going, what's the literal subject? What are these words? What are the next images? It may tap into a different way that you haven't tried yet. I draw it more like a comics, so we can like see the story, and in, in the first picture we can see the setting and the first um, stanza, where the soldiers are walking through the trenches and the, there's the rain coming down and it's I used uh, pencil and black pen and blue pen to make it look depressing and uh, also the darkness should like be visible by the dark colors. Then there's the symbol of, uh, it's, it's said that uh, they lacked our clay, their clay stuck boots, so I tried to like draw it so we can imagine that they were freezing cold and it was very tiring. And to this, I made this picture that should like contrast with the situation of uh, people sleeping somewhere else so I chose pink color because it symbolizes something it's a warm color so we can and it's like clean and we can imagine how comfortable it could be here is the again the contrast between the peaceful folk in beds that lay snug asleep here he sleeps um, there's nice moon light Everything is covered in snow because it's the middle of the winter. There is a nice tree and it's past 12. Then we are move far away to the trenches where it's dark, it's raining, um, people are shivering and there's a lot of mud. There are cannons, explosions, trenches, barbed wire, it should be bullets sing, singing or singing. And they are doing something instead of sleeping. And well, that's the first stanza, and then there's the second part, and I can't really draw faces. Mm -hmm. um, it should be the picture of the Jesus or the man who is the Redeemer, and uh, it's a lot. There's a lot of about light because um, there's light coming from behind him, and it should be like it could be the. Um, halo of Jesus, of something good, or it could, it could be the explosion from, yeah, the explosion. That's it.
Okay, go ahead. Yo, Tekka, give me a beat. Is that it? Yeah. Good job, good job, okay. Tell me now, why did you make the choices? What, tell me about the interpretation you guys just did there. What do you think stood out in the poetry that made you move the way you did, the, the words, the way you accentuated them? What tone did you think you brought to it? Well, we definitely emphasized the words we wanted to emphasize by, like, you know, emphasizing especially the rhymes. Um, with on Andrew, we sort of wanted to work on that. Yeah, at, at the end, especially where there was like along the train, sometimes a bullet sang. So it's like <coughs> they stand out very much, and they the rhyme, the end rhymes are very significant, like sang, a hollow bang. It's even the sound of the bullet. And then uh huh. They, uh, yeah. And to complement that, the girls. Yeah, yeah, and through dancing, we we're trying to express basically the mood of the lines that they were just rapping. <laughs> so at the first, kind of a vicious darkness, yeah. and we're, so like, yeah, we're like, <laughs> like really like it's something dark and scary. And then it was peaceful folks, yeah. right? So we were trying like the calming down process and stuff like, like that. To, like not to not wake up because they yeah. like snag the sleep, so we're like don't wake them up. Yeah, and basically then there was the light, so the image of something heavy and jovial. So we went like like really heavy movements and and like mm -hmm. faster. <coughs> yeah. But I chose to interpret it um, musically because I'm very musical. I like music, and music inspires me, especially the classic music, which also calms me down. And I like um, listen uh, to. Uh, the classical music all the time when I'm learning and so on. So I chose to interpret this poem uh, through uh, classical music and I decided to find uh, certain classical pieces uh, which include um, like the imagery of battles and fighting and war uh, and there's plenty of them. Uh, however, I also chose uh, some some um, like compositions that are not uh, with the imagery of battles, but for example, portray um, I don't know the um, um, spring, which I will show you in the um, composition of Stravinsky, and uh, it just um, it just inspired me because. Um, the images in the compositions are very, like, the tones are very strong, they are very dark and a minor, um, <clears throat> which I think, um, like, um, mm, is very typical and, uh, yeah, it's very typical for this, uh, for this poem. Because, uh, as Marketa has shown in her, in her picture, and I think Johanna and Sarah as well, the, mm, like, the atmosphere of this poem is very dark. We can see it in the first uh, word of this poem, there's, which is the poem is introduced by by its um, atmosphere, which is darkness, and the first stanza also uh, ends with the word darkness. So um, I chose to um, like um, take out the uh, images that I think are important in the poem and that are possible to be portrayed by music, and um, yeah. So I will just present it to you and. Um, the first image that I chose is the first <clears throat> line of the first stanza, uh, which says, Darkness, the rain sluice down the marvelous deep. So when rain sluice, uh, or sluice, it is um, it's like falling down in um, very, very strongly. It is very strong rain, which I think Johanna has portrayed in her first picture. And so I chose a musical image that is, uh, that is very strong and portrays 
or shows the uh, rhythm of rain and also portrays um, and sets the dark atmosphere. Mm. Uh, so this image is present in, um, in a composition by Liszt. <clears throat> and in, it's the first 30 uh, seconds, so listen. Is the is the yeah it's probably not. <laughs> you have to turn that on and then turn the red button yeah, that's yeah. and then you'll have to turn it up.